are you ready to put gas-powered cars in the past? Well, a major vote today could turn the Golden State electric. CBS News' Cara Finstrom is live in Valley Village with more on the bold plan to fight climate change. Good morning, Cara. Good morning, Rachel. Right now, public hearing still underway with the board listening to many folks. But their hope is that in the future, most folks will be heading to filling stations like this one and putting electricity into their cars instead of gas. Californians have long had a love affair with their cars. The question now, will that feeling become electric? This is a historic moment for California, for our partner state, and for the world as we set forth this path towards a zero emission future. State regulators are expected to approve a revolutionary plan that would ban the sale of new gas powered vehicles by 2035. Under it, the goals would be phased in over 13 years. For example, 35% of new vehicles sold in California would need to be powered by batteries or hydrogen by 2026. Californians would be able to sell or continue using previously owned gas cars. We need to all contribute more to the climate and that is going to help hopefully and I just hope they make it more affordable. Michelle Kramer supports the ban but she's still filling up a gas car because she says electric cars are too expensive even with state and federal incentives. We're so used to change our own oil or having mechanics do our work for us uh, but now we're going to have to rely on dealerships. State leaders say they will take numerous steps to increase affordability and charging access and to address concerns that this will be especially difficult for low income communities. They say the move is needed to fight climate change. This college student recently invested in an electric car when gas prices soared and says filling up her tank has gone from $100 to 12. I feel like if we can control it by something as simple as a car you drive, I feel like it's a good idea. And in the public hearing right now, lots of discussion about logistics, like how folks in apartments and in older homes can be given help so that they can charge up those electric cars at home. Rachel, if they do give their vote of approval today, it will still need to go back to the EPA, which will need to sign off on a waiver. A lot of good information. Carl Finstrom, thank you so much.